Hello everyone, this is Warhawk Beyond 2040 and welcome to another edition of the Superman and Lois Season 3 Review Series. And today I am going to be talking about Episode 4, Too Close to Home, which I have just finished watching. And this episode was, just like the show itself, absolutely fantastic. Loved watching this, loved every second and minute of it. This show, for me right now, can do no wrong and in my honest opinion Superman and Lois is by far the best DC show going at this moment big statements I just made there I know but I don't really care because this show is absolutely amazing and even when there's not a whole lot going on at times the quality and variety is so good that you just completely forget all about the other things and you're just so invested in the show. You care about the cast, you care about the characters, you just care about everything full stop. I just love it. I think this episode in particular was really good and I'm really enjoying season three so far. Even though we're only four episodes in already, I'm just absolutely loving it. And I've said this time and time again from the very beginning, Every time you watch the show, every time you watch an episode, it just feels like a mini movie. It's so strong and so powerful and it never disappoints. And I really hope, fingers crossed, that they don't cancel the show. I want this show to at least get at least three more seasons. That's how good this show is. I want it to end at season six or even season seven or maybe even like six seasons and an extended episode of what maybe two hours or something like that i just love this show so much and i hope it continues so i'm going to give a quick recap of what's happened so far and then just like always i'm going to get straight into it and talk about episode four so as we saw previously in episode three it picked up where we left off from the end of episode two where Lois Lane was diagnosed with stage 3 inflammatory breast cancer and episode 3 was more or less seeing Lois trying to deal with this shocking revelation and as always Lois was just being Lois going out and investigating Bruno Mannheim with Chrissy while ignoring her appointments and refusing to go and have her chemo treatments with Clark Kent and very powerful stuff really enjoyed that a lot and we learned another shocking revelation at the end of episode three we learned that bruno Mannheim has a sample of superman's blood what does this mean we have no idea but i think we've got a pretty good idea of what bruno Mannheim plans to do with superman's blood it's possible he could be putting together his own army of superpowered beings. We don't know that for sure, but if he has got Superman's blood, who knows what he'll do with it. But a very powerful way to end episode three, in my opinion, and a cool setup for episode four. So with that all said, let's not waste any more time. Let's get straight into it. Let's talk about episode four. Too close to home. So this episode starts off with Lois already having her first round of chemo and Clark realising that she needs peace and quiet to recover, tries to hold the fort while she is resting. We see Lois is not planning to take any time off as she already delves into her research and investigation on Bruno Mannheim and Intergang and discovers that Bruno financed Hobbs Bay Medical Centre where Alistair Hook treated and experimented on intergang members. We also see at the Cushion household, Sarah is still staying with Kyle after her mother, Lana, slapped her across the face in episode three. And we see her relationship with her mother gets worse after Lana slaps her because Sarah accused her of the affair that Kyle was having and says to her that it's no surprise that dad cheated on you telling her that it's her own fault for being controlling all the time. We see Sarah continues to ignore Lana's calls and eventually comes clean to her dad about the slap. 
Kyle is mad at Lana since Sarah purposely presented the story wrong and forgot to mention how rude she was in the first place. He promises that he will deal with it and this will never happen again. We also see John Henry and Clark recover some of Intergang's technology and discover it was the same one he had created that made his suit. He realises that the John Henry Irons of this world most likely made it and Clark fills him in on everything that he and Lois have found out so far, including that Bruno Mannheim killed his doppelganger. Clark also discloses that his sister from this earth is also aware of what's happened. Meanwhile, Jonathan has issues of his own following the fact that Candace's dad stole his truck and he goes to, to her place, but he finds out her dad was the one who did actually steal the truck and ends up punching him across the face. Imitz tells Jonathan that he should stop spreading lies about him and Jonathan argues that he was the one that stole his truck because he had Lois's watch in it. Wow, powerful stuff here. Following the forest fire incident that we see at the beginning of the episode, Sam Lane shows Jordan that nearby drone cameras detected him and took a picture of him from behind and that his hair was noticeably recognisable, which is pretty unique, all things considered. Sam urges him to cut his hair in order to be less recognisable, but Jordan refuses and becomes all horrible towards Sam. Sam says that making sacrifices like this is all part of being a hero, something that Clark always had to do when trying to protect his Superman identity. Jordan doesn't quite seem to understand how being a hero works. Sam Lanes summons Clark to the DOD headquarters and reveals to Clark that the blood that Bruno Mannheim is using comes from them. Clark wonders how is this possible and the two make the connection to the fact that the DOD took a sample of his blood when he was hospitalised. Oh boy. At the time, it was medically necessary, but they have now since lost track of the blood. Clark uses heat vision to destroy the remaining samples of his own blood. Sensible thing to do. At the Cushion household, Kyle found out that Sarah weaponized his affair against Lana and has a stern talk with her about it, and says that you cannot use my mistakes to hurt your mother. John Henry Irons meets with his sister to get more info on his doppelganger. She is visibly uncomfortable but recounts everything she knows about him. She says that her brother got involved with Bruno Mannheim after leaving the military and this is why he got killed because he was selling his tech to Mannheim. Dr. Irons agrees to talk to him but asks him never to visit her again because it's too painful. She leaves and Intergang kidnaps John Henry Irons and Bruno Mannheim asks him what his connection is to Superman and shows him the photograph where the two can be seen working together. He also shows him the photo of his sister, kidnapped with a bomb strapped to her chest. Mannheim blackmails him. He needs to walk away from all this or else his sister dies. Meanwhile, Lois goes to confront Emits because she found out he is the one that caused a giant bruise on Jonathan's face. Instead of apologising, Emit threatens Lois with a gun. She gets scared but keeps her resolve and repeats once again that he should stay away from her family. Yeah, you tell her, Lois. You tell him. After Jonathan, Jordan and Lois return home, Lois gets sick from the stress and all of the chemo. Everything would have blown over if Clark didn't eventually find out that Emit both stole Jonathan's truck and threatened Lois with a gun. And Lois says, you cannot go there as Superman. And Clark says... No, I'm not. Clark locates him at the diner and tries to talk peacefully with him, but Emmett won't budge. So we see a very rare side of Clark Kent where he uses physical strength and the two get into a small fight and Clark threatens him. This was my favourite moment. You know, we're seeing not Superman, but Clark Kent actually protecting his family, which is a very rare moment. And I liked it. I thought this was a very powerful moment. Following Mannheim's blackmail, John Henry Irons sends him to hell and escapes from the building by using his silt. He manages to locate his sister, Dr. Irons, and Bruno held her in the garage in the back of a van with a bomb strapped to her chest. John Henry manages to defuse the bomb since he is familiar with the tech. He was the one who created it. Well, technically his doppelganger did. He manages to save his sister at the last second by using his fingerprints to defuse the bomb. After saving his sister, he returns to Mannheim and starts threatening to leave him and his alternate family alone. Mannheim instead doubles down and starts threatening his extended family. 
All he wants is for John Henry to stop working with Clark Kent and stop interfering in his business. Oh, wow. Lois and Clark tell Jordan that he needs to apologise to his grandfather for how he treated him the other day. Jordan agrees and agrees to get a haircut to continue being a hero as far as related extracurricular activities are concerned. Sam accepts his apology and proposes an alternative to cutting his hair. He gives him the box containing his hero costume put together by the DOD to complement the outfit. He gives him his grandfather's World War II pilot goggles. And that's how we end episode four. Overall, fantastic. Loved every second of it. I thought it was very cool that we got to see Clark protecting his family instead of Superman. So that's something you don't see very often. And I thought this done a great job in building up Bruno Mannheim as a big threat. And also we're seeing how Lois is still trying to deal with the revelation that she's got cancer while trying to be Lois Lane, the reporter. But yeah, overall, I really like this episode a lot and I'm really pumped for episode five already. So that's going to be it for me. I am going to wrap this up now. What was your thoughts on episode four? Did you enjoy it? Where do you think Jordan is going to end up? Is it possible he could become Superboy in this show? Do you think we could see that? And also, what about John Henry and this situation with Mannheim? Do you think it will be laid to rest or do you think this is going to continue? And also, what about Mannheim having Superman's blood? What does he plan to do with it? And also, what is going to be the payoff for this entire situation? You know what to do, guys. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave your thoughts and comments down below, and I will see all of you next time for another edition of the Superman and Lois Season 3 Review Series, where I am going to be talking about Episode 5, which I am really looking forward to seeing, especially with the way this episode played out and the way it ended. Should be a really good one, and I can't wait to see it, because I know it's going to be fantastic. So, until next time, Take care, everybody, and stay safe. And once again, as always, much appreciated. Thanks for listening.